Hello y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I have more unique gifts to share with you guys. I had so much fun making the last unique gifts video. If you haven't seen that one yet, I will link it down below so you can go check that out. I shared 12 unique gifts that uh, you probably haven't ever thought of and we're adding to the list today. I mean, maybe you've thought of these, but maybe you then forgot about it. And so now it's like getting crunch time. You need to wrap up your shopping and you've just got like somebody on your list that you're like, I don't know. Like I need one more thing for that person and I just don't know what to get them. Maybe you will find something in today's video because these gifts are fun. They're funny, they're punny. They're also just like practical, helpful. Let's just get into it. I've got some great gift ideas, okay? Not to pat myself on the back or anything, but. I think they're good. First up, we have this beautiful set of mugs. These are like kind of, I call them like vintage mugs. They have a few different colors, but the kind of like iridescent ones are really stunning. They feel like the pieces of like crystal that your grandma had around or something. Like they have this, they're very heavy. They're like, all right, either some of my kids are home and I thought they all went with their dad to lunch or I have a ghost or an intruder. This is uncomfortable. Everything's fine. Anyways, they're really a beautiful little set of mugs. They come with like little stirring spoons, gold stir spoons. Uh, I used them after Thanksgiving, like after we finish our dinner and we're having our desserts and I'm serving coffee and stuff. They're just really, really beautiful. So I think if you've got somebody who enjoys a nice beverage, whether it be tea or coffee, whatever, these mugs would make a great gift item. They will probably really love them. They really are very beautiful. Uh, in fact, probably arguably what I would say like better looking in person than in the pictures that you see online. That next brings me to this home fragrance. Uh, they have a few different ones. I can't speak to all of them. What I can tell you is that this home fragrance, first of all, I just did the home fragrance because they have a whole line of stuff like soaps and lotions and like all of this different stuff. But obviously I need to smell it before I can commit to all of that business. So I started with like the room spray. First of all, very potent. Okay. So you only need like a little bit, just like a little squirts. And if you're going to gift it or put it in someone's stocking, I would even include a note that tells them like a little goes a long way. Uh, and again, like I'm always trying to cover up like kid stink and dog stink and all of that. So to me, having something that I can just like whoosh, whoosh, refresh the room with, if I don't want to have like candles burning or oils diffusing or anything, I just, I really enjoy different room fresheners. Either way, it's a great like stocking stuffer or just like a little gift to add into something. Again, so many good, delicious scents. I would imagine that they're probably all good. Okay, they're probably all good. Next is something I think is really unique um, and it's an embossed rolling pen. So I got mine on Etsy and I, again, something I like never would have thunk it, not something I ever thought of or felt like I need that, I need to go out looking for it. But when you have one or you get gifted one or you come across one, you're like, oh, that's so beautiful. And it's so fun to make like cute little cookies or like little pie crusts or whatever with them. They're really, really beautiful. And of course you kind of have like the double of not only getting like a unique, beautiful gift for somebody, but you're also supporting a small business. So win-win. Next, we have something really fun. If you have a Disney lover in your life, someone who loves to go to Disney, or maybe they've only been a couple times, but they really loved it, or they rave about the food there, you know, like the Dole Whip or whatever, there is a Disney Parks cookbook, basically. So it's really, really cute. It has all of the different like recipes for how to make the various treats and snacks and things at the park that people have come to love. They've become like, you know, sort of like cult classic favorites as far as like everyone one gets, you know, whatever this treat is when they go to Disney. All that's coming to mind right now is the Dole Whip, but I know there's other things. I'm not a Disney fanatic, okay? Give me a little grace here. But I think if you have a Disney fanatic or even a Disney enthusiast in your house, they don't even have to be fanatical. They can just be enthusiastic. I think that the uh, Disney Parks cookbook would make a wonderful gift item. This is a gift for someone like me. So if you ever watch my videos and you're like, boy, Angie is just like so-and-so that I know, then perhaps they would enjoy this gift. This gift is something I've had in my like wish list cart on Amazon for a long time and I finally bought it this year as a gift to myself. Um, it's basically uh, Sarcastic Devotions. They've kind of changed the name of it. It was its first print, it looked one way and now they've changed it. I'm not sure entirely the rebranding there, but it's basically like daily devotions for like the weary, worn down, maybe uh, the people who have 
a little bit of a pessimistic outlook or just have a hard time with a lot of the fluff, then these are devotions for those people. So I can't, I, again, I just purchased it, so I can't like give you like a full like review on it or anything. But if you've got that kind of like sarcastic -y kind of person in your life, then uh, they might actually really enjoy it. So definitely check that out. And then the other thing that kind of falls into like the book category, uh, this is something that I got a few months ago and I have really enjoyed and I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. And I think it would make a fabulous gift. So this is basically a cookbook put together from a writer for the New York Times. It's in, it's called like the New York Times No Recipe Cookbook or something like that. It's a no recipe cookbook. Basically, they kind of go through and teach you how to like throw things together. So there's no like you need a, a quarter cup of this or a, a that. It, it's just like a it's kind of honestly like how I cook most of the time, which is to just throw stuff together, throw things in the pot, add this, a little bit of that, throw some of this in there. When I first saw it, I kind of thought like, how are you going to make a whole cookbook out of that? But they did and it's good. And there are so many like earmarked pages in there for me to be like, ah, yes, next time I want to try that. I want to throw a little bit of these things together. So it's not like an exact science, obviously like baking or a really like a, a really detailed recipe that you need to follow down to the letter. It's just I don't even know how to explain it. That's that's how unique it is, okay? Is that I don't even know exactly how to explain it. It's good. If you've got someone who enjoys cooking but like maybe isn't the recipe type or somebody that is not the recipe type, they kind of aren't sure how they feel about cooking and you you know that like listen, this would help them. This would help them get into the kitchen and cook more. It's a it's a good gift, okay? I really love mine. Of course, we can't forget the Barefoot Dreams knockoff blanket, okay? The Barefoot Dreams blankets are so, so, so expensive. They're great, but the knockoffs are really great too, so it's kind of hard to justify the price of the Barefoot. It's hard to justify the price of the Barefoot, Stream, Barefoot Dreams blanket anyways, but given the fact that there are other um, dupes or inspired blankets that are just as good, it's even harder to justify the price. So I will link two for you down below because there's two that I think are really, really good. They have that same like buttery soft feel. They hold up to washing. I have gifted a number of them th uh, this year. A number of them have made it into uh, gift lists for people in my life. And uh, I really like the plain color option. A lot of the Barefoot Dreams blankets have prints and patterns and stuff that people may not like. It's kind of harder to gift someone something with a print on it. So a plain colored Barefoot Dreams blanket, mm, anybody would love it, anybody. This next gift is a really fun thing for someone, if you know someone in your life that enjoys tea. This glass tea dripper from Amazon just makes tea drinking seem even more luxurious, okay? If tea drinking already felt a little bit pretentious, but in a good way, adding in this tea dripper will make it be even more pretentious, okay? But in a good way. Is there such a good thing as being pretentious and good? I don't know, but I think this tea dripper achieves it. It's really, beautiful and it's something that if you know again like done right you could put the little teas in there you put the hot water and then you have a little dispenser that you know pours the tea down into your glass it's such a beautiful gift for a tea lover in your life and it looks really pretty just sitting out on the counter too so it's kind of one of those gifts that's like you don't just have to like shove this away you know put it put it up under the counter it can sit out too that brings me to this next gift which is just as pretentious but i really like it i'm here for it i think it like adds to the home decor element too and that is a bedside carafe now hear me out if you're thinking I need a giraffe. I didn't say giraffe, I said carafe. So basically it's just water next to your bed. But if you want something that feels more glamorous or if you, again, you're gifting to somebody that's like they have everything, they already have the big 40 ounce Stanley cup or whatever, get them a lovely bedside carafe, okay? It says, I am an adult. I am from another era, I'm from another time. I drink my water from a little crystal glass next to my bed, not like a big tumbler, not an adult sippy cup. I use a nice pretty like crystal carafe. It's just, it's such a fun gift, okay? I would love to receive this because I would be like, I didn't I didn't even know it was a thing. I'll be honest with you. I didn't even know these things existed. I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't know people had bedside carafes, but they do. And they make some really pretty ones with different designs. I just, I really like it. So I think it would make a great gift, especially for like that hard to shop for person. 
you know, they won't see it coming. Surely they won't see it coming. Gifting games is always a really fun and different thing, but if you can find something that is a little bit different, you know. So there's a really fun like card game trivia type game called Stuff You Should Know. Um, I don't know if anybody has ever listened to the Stuff You Should Know podcast. If you have that person in your life who's like always doling out like facts to people about random things and sometimes it's fun but sometimes it's annoying, like maybe they're a know-it-all or maybe it's just like their conversation starters. They just like to know interesting things. I will admit I'm a bit guilty of that at times where it's like it's a great icebreaker. Like you meet new people. If you just know random weird facts, uh, that can at least open up a conversation. However, this game stuff you should know, kind of like that, okay? If you've got that kind of person in your life that they either think they know it all or they want to know it all or they're trying to know it all, this could be a great gift for them. Another really beautiful gift that would make a great stocking stuffer or to add into a gift for like your mom or mother-in-law or something like that is a beautiful uh, set of matches. There's lots of different options out there. I have like a glass, kids are back, so we're gonna have to wrap this up real quick because the dogs are barking and everybody's about to come busting in the house. Uh, so the matches, decorative matches, really pretty. Uh, there's like a box that I got that's like a floral one. I have another that's like a glass oval shape. It's just, listen, it's nice if you wanna be a little bit fancier when you're lighting your candles. That's the whole point of these like unique gifts is something different, maybe something that somebody wouldn't buy for themselves, don't already have, but something that's actually practical and useful. You're not just trying to flood people with crap that's just gonna take up space in their house. This is something they'll actually use. It looks nice sitting out. It kind of just serves like multiple purposes if you will. All right, you guys, that is it for our unique gifts. Some ideas for you. If you've just got like that hard to shop for person, you're looking for just the right thing, something that's unique and different, something that says, I'm thinking of you. I see you. I know you. You're a weirdo. I see your inner weirdo and my inner weirdo. It sees. We see each other. We get each other. Uh, or if they're just pretentious and you want to find them some other kind of pretentious gift that says, I see your pretension and I will raise you a bedside carafe. Either way, I think there's something for everybody on this list. I'm not going to lie. I feel like there is. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. That is it for me today, and I will see y'all again very soon. Bye.